Hey, it's Sasha Ann, and I'm an actress, singer, and professional makeup artist. Welcome to The Vibe, where I talk about the hottest trends in fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Hi loves, it's Sasha Ann, and you're watching The Vibe. In this episode, I'll share what's in my summer travel makeup bag. I'm also super excited for this week's guest. I'll be talking to dancer, actress, and my good friend, Amelie Onstead, so stay tuned. Packing for a trip is always challenging. Limiting my makeup choices is hard, especially with the liquid restrictions on flights. With all of the travel delays and lost luggage stories we are hearing these days, my advice is to pack light and if you can, try avoid checking a bag. So this segment will be focused on carrying makeup in a carry-on. I'm flying to New York soon. Although the temperature could be the same as Los Angeles, the humidity creates a totally different experience for my face. New York could get steamy on those 90 degree days. In fact, it's like going from a sauna to a steam room. These are the products that I recommend to a trip to New York during the peak of summer. First of all, you will need a makeup bag. It could be as simple as a gallon size Ziploc baggie or something pink like this. I will be putting all of my essential items in this bag. So basically what I will be needing for every day. For brows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown. Oh, do not forget a concealer for those unexpected pimples and under eye circles from jet lag and lack of sleep. No one wants that. So I use the Giorgio Armani concealer. It's full coverage, lightweight, super glowy. I have it on right now. I use it every single day and it's very small, so perfect for travel. And I will of course be bringing a mascara and a few makeup brushes. This mascara is by Essence. It's called Lash Princess. I love it. My mom uses it. We both love it. It's amazing. And yes, I will be bringing some eyeshadow palettes. These are by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I love the shades in it. It's super pretty. I love to put like a sparkly shade on my lids during the thriving nights in New York, not during the day with the bright sun because I do like to add some shimmer and sparkle to my life at night. So I will be bringing those palettes as well. And I will be bringing you my favorite foaming face wash by Neutrogena and I will be putting it in some travel size containers and I am good to go. As for clothes, I am terrible at packing light. So I suggest bringing a few versatile items such as skirts, shorts, any kind of pants because you could pair it with a bunch of different tops. Always pack less bottoms than tops if you are doing laundry to where you are traveling to. I'm so excited for you guys to meet my good friend Amelie Onstead. Amelie is an awesome dancer, actress, and social media personality who uses her platform for charitable causes. Amelie is best known as a brat TV content creator on their hit TV series Chicken Girls. Find out more about Amelie in my interview with her. Uh, tell us how you got started in performing in, in the entertainment industry. Yeah, so I started getting into the business. Well, okay, there's like two sides to this question. I actually started dancing when I was seven. So I kind of just went to the dance studio and I tried acrobatics for the first time, which isn't even like necessarily dance dance. It was like gymnastics and dance. And I was like, wow, I really like this. And um, I started seeing older girls and other classes doing pop, jazz, tap. And some of the teachers were like, come in, come take my class, like come try it. And I was like, oh my goodness, okay. Like I was so excited. And I was just like this little bubbly girl that was like, yeah, I'll try everything. And I already felt a passion for it even at age seven, which is like kind of weird because I was really little, but I definitely like felt just like a weird type of love towards it always. And then I didn't technically get into the business per se until I was about 12, because that's when I um, did Justin Bieber. And that's kind of what like launched everything for my career and kind of opened the doors. So that's where it all took off. And I started seeing the whole business side, but I didn't come out to LA till I was older. I was about, I want to say 15 when I first came to LA. But what's it like working with Brat TV and Chicken Girls? 
Oh, that was so much fun. Working with Chicken Girls was definitely like honestly a dream come true because I got to meet like really, really amazing individuals. And now they've become friends of mine that like we hang out when I'm in LA all the time. And it's just created that bond and be able to, that was one of my, that was actually my first um, more so like TV acting gig that I ever did. So working on that and just being able to go into a space where everyone was so welcoming was really, really cool because I was scared into it I was like going to seasons I don't know if everyone's gonna be really clicky or like anything like that and instead um we went into it and everyone was just so sweet and welcoming so it was a really awesome experience that's great that everyone was very supportive and sweet and nice and because like when going into something that you're not used to it's like you're so scared like you don't know what's going to happen but it's so great that everyone was like very supportive yeah, no, it was awesome. I felt so grateful because I really didn't know. I mean, of course, like I knew how it was going to work, but you really never know in that situation. It's kind of like being the f- new kid at school, if you want to say. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I, I can totally relate because I, you know, that I was in my first uh, movie and I was so scared, like going on set. And I did not know anyone. And it was just, it was my first time. So I totally, I, could, I totally feel you. I totally get it. <laughs> Yes, no, for sure. And congratulations. That's literally amazing. But yeah, it's definitely one of those weird feelings for sure. But it's also like fun because it's like I always call it like nerve sighted. You're like nervous, but you're also so excited. Um, Do you have any future acting projects uh, you could share with us? I actually do. So I have a new feature that I just um, I just finished working on it back. And I want to say time's like flying so fast, but it was literally it was end of um, May. So it was such an incredible experience. It's based on an original story and a true story about um, 9-11. So it was very heavy and it was one of the more uh, dramatic per se films that I did so I was really really um, grateful to be a part of it and to play I play the lead female so it oh was, wow yeah so I'm really congratulations excited. thank you thank you so much yeah so, um, sometime in 2023 so time's away but I'm so excited uh you're also an amazing dancer and I would like to know what your favorite style of dance is Oh, first off, thank you so much. And uh, I love this question because I always am like, it's hard because like I love every style because they're all so different and cool. But I think my favorite styles of dance would be contemporary and hip hop because they're yes. opposites, you know, they're complete op- yes. <laughs> opposites, but come together and tell such a great story. You can tell, I mean, a story about like your friend or what you're going through. Like for me, I don't, I'm like very um, introverted about like my emotions, not in public. I'm like, yo, what's up? Like, I talk yeah. to but when it comes to like how I'm feeling, I, I just really keep it to myself. But dance has always been a release for me and kind of a way for me to like, like maybe go through or again, like another individual that I know or I'm close to, I can tell their story. So it's cool. Yeah. I'm, I heard you got to train alongside with Jojo Siwa. I am a huge fan of Jojo Siwa. So I'm just like, I'm stoked about that for you. I, I love that. No, yeah, she's awesome. Literally. You dance with her at the Playground LA. That's amazing. Can yes. you tell us what the experience was like? Oh my God, it was so much fun. She's honestly, I mean, she's huge. You know, everyone, like you say, JoJo, and everyone knows who JoJo is. And she, for all of that, like following that she has and everything, she is so humble and just like represents who she is. And I think that's so inspiring. So dancing alongside of her is always so cool because it's nice to just see her sometimes too, just like come to a dance class and like stick to her roots and not be afraid to almost pop out. And like, you know, like she knows that everyone knows her and that a lot of people watch her, but she's comfortable with who she is. And I absolutely love that and respect that. I love that. And it makes like everyone feel so good about themselves. Yes, exactly. She's like, yeah, I think that's what I admire about her is like, she makes girls, guys, anything like really feel comfortable and just being themselves. Yeah, and she also, like, she portrays a great message to everyone. I feel like that's why so many people look up to her. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, she's awesome time working with her. That's so great. So I know using your social media platforms to help out charitable causes is important to you. So what advice do you have to other young people in the industry on how they could get involved in local charities? 
Oh, I love this question. I think that charity work is something that people almost sometimes overlook in a way because it's it's so easy to go out there. And nowadays, I mean, you can even volunteer through your phone, if that makes sense. Like you see yeah. on Instagram, they have those, like you can donate to charities, you can find ways to just be there and be involved. And even around, like I say, like advice, like I think just go out and see what you can volunteer for. If it's doing food drives, if it's donating clothes or clothes, like that really goes a long way. Like you look in your closet sometimes and I'll be like, wow, like I could, like, what should I do with this? And it's like, you can take it to your local charity and make so many kids days and I think that we like don't even realize that sometimes and I think it's really special so you literally now you can it's a click on your phone it's a (laughs) into your charity just look it up and go visit but yeah I think it's an amazing thing to do yeah so I guess that leads to the next question like tell us about some of the organizations you work with and why do you like to work with them what what's so great about them That's perfect. That literally goes along with what you're saying. Yeah, Um, right? (laughs) So the charity that I personally, I mean, of course, I support all charities, but the main one that I work on one with is Elevate Hope, which is also associated with Miss Rena's House of Blessings. And I've been in Elevate Hope since I was in elementary school because it was really cool. They would actually come as an organization and bring awareness to us kids like even in elementary school we would get to volunteer and do food drives and donate clothes and stuff like that right at our school so it was like we were already getting the opportunity to help out and I always just had a passion for what Miss Rena which is um the owner what she was doing and what she was bringing awareness to so that is personally the one that I work one-on-one with and she just um, has been launching Miss Rena's House of Blessings which is where she takes in families that maybe again like I said were living out of their car and just didn't have you know weren't able to get a house or get food and kind of make all means work and she's providing them with rooms and food and homes and it's absolutely beautiful to watch so I'm so grateful that I get to like also be a part of helping (laughs) for sure too so it's been really cool that's amazing it's just so cool how much you're invested in it and I'm just I'm so proud of you (laughs) thank you so much I really appreciate that yeah it's definitely it's I again I'm just so grateful to be able to like go in and do that and meet everyone too I think that's also so fun like I love meeting other people and just like working with other individuals so everyone I meet I'm like wow wow like this is a different story which is like really eye-opening as well you have such a big heart. It's just, that makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I, 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 I try to just, <laughs> I try to just always like stay open-minded, you know, you can't judge a book yeah. by cover and you need to just like be open to what people have to say and what they have to offer. Right. So I love to share what I call a sashitude. I do that in every episode. I They're like- my little life mottos and tips. So what would be your Amelitude. Ooh, but <laughs> um, my Amelitude <laughs> that I love to um spread like as a motto. I've always said, "Be original." That's kind of been my thing ever since I was little. I was literally be this like little eleven year old, and I'd be like, "Mom, be original. Like, do your own thing. Like, represent who you are." So I think that's kind of like something I live by something I try to put that out there on social media, just because it's like you are who you are and honestly people are going to judge no matter what so you just have to be comfortable representing what you want to represent and if you have goals and other people like don't really support them it's just about if you support them and if you're ready to go out there and like know that you can do it and believe in yourself and yeah just again like I had said before make your mark (laughs) I love that what a great way to end this interview (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah Sasha Tudes are my personal mottos, tips, and quotes. This episode's Sasha Tude is simple but important, especially during summer. Stay hydrated. Get yourself a reusable water bottle and take it wherever you go so you remember to drink. Not only is it essential for your body, but it will help keep you full between meals and keep your skin looking fabulous. All right, loves, that's it for this episode. Make sure to check out my website, sashaand.com, for more travel tips and a review on Zombies 3. 
Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Simply Sasha Ann and TikTok Sasha Ann. If you love this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you next time. Bye. Clock. <laughs>